All right, guys, today we're going to talk about problem and solution again. A uh, problem and solution we've been exploring a lot in nonfiction. It's also frequently found in fiction. Uh, it's also something you experience every day in your own life. We constantly are faced with little problems and how to solve them. And again, as in a story um, or as in a lot of nonfiction texts, the same type of structure exists as well. So just a reminder, some of the signal words you might see are problem, issue, since, as a result, a solution, an idea, so leads to or causes. So basically something is happening and then they're looking for a way to fix it. Sometimes it will say this problem can be fixed by blah, 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 but it's not always quite that simple. Um, a lot of times it's gonna be talking about an issue um, or if they have a problem, they might propose solutions without saying the word solution. So you kind of have to think if you start hearing a problem arise, how could this be solved? So asking yourself, what's the problem? What's the solution? Always look for your problem first and then the solution. You'll start to hear some sort of issue arise or some sort of problem come up. And then typically after that, there'll be some sort of solution. Very rarely will there be like, there's this big problem and we're just gonna leave it. So often the solution will come after that. Um, for example, here, the problem was milk was spilled. The solution is get out a sponge and clean it up. So I wanna look at our assignment today and kind of go through that as well with problems. So you will be seeing problem and solution on Actively Learn. Um, it will be about a witch, it is fiction. Um, and the kids in the story face some problems and you have to figure out how they're going to solve it. Um, you can annotate along the way. Um, and then in writing, what I really wanna go over here, and I guess this could be used for both reading and writing in this case, is I wanna read this paragraph to you, kind of ignore the comments off to the right, but I want you to see if you can identify the problem and solution in this paragraph. So maybe if you have a notebook out, it'd be wonderful if you could write this down, maybe write down the problem and solution, uh, come back to this for your notes later. Um, but here's what we have. Waking up on time has always been a problem for me. I would like to solve this problem because I get in trouble when I'm late for school. There are several things I could do. To begin with, I could set my alarm earlier. This will give me more time to wake up. I could also set more than one alarm or ask a friend to call me in the morning. Finally, to make sure I wake up on time, I could go to bed earlier. Getting more sleep will make me less tired in the morning. All of these solutions will work, but going to bed earlier might be the best solution. So I'm gonna give you a quick second in your notebook. I want you to identify the problem and the solution. So if you need to pause the video and write that down, that is fine. I want you to think to yourself, what keywords told you what was the problem and what was the solution? Typically, the problem will be introduced somewhere in the beginning of the story. In this case, he says, it's a problem for me. It's very straightforward, it's very out there, it's easy to see. So it sounds like waking up on time is his problem. And then, is his, his, is his solution because I get in trouble when I'm late for school? Is that his solution? I want you to think about this as typically, like we said, we've seen a problem followed by the solution right away. But what I like he does is he introduces his problem and he says why it needs to be solved. And that is a really, really good thing to do in our writing today as well as why. Why is this problem important? Something that's important to you might not be important to someone else. So why do you wanna fix this particular problem? Well, he wants to fix his problem because he gets in trouble when he's late for school. So he has a problem and then he comes in here. There are several things I could do. So it's a little tricky in this, in this second sentence, you see the word solve. So I feel like your brain's gonna go, oop, this is our solution. That's not our solution yet. We have our problem, why he wants to solve it. Then there are several things I could do. He doesn't just give one way to solve his problem, he gives multiple. So, and also like we've been working on, transition words to begin with. Okay, here's a, here's a, a possible solution. 
And then he gives reasons. If you see down here in the bottom, there's a, this R with the orange circle. These are reasons why the solutions will work. So he doesn't just say, I could set my alarm earlier. Next day, I could ask a friend to call me, call me. Then I could go to bed earlier. He gives reasons why his solutions will work. So it's really supporting it. He's not only solving his problem, but he's also saying why this would help him. So to begin with, I could set my alarm earlier. So there is one solution to his problem, set his alarm earlier. Well, why, is, why would you set your alarm earlier? Oh, this will give me more time to wake up. Ah, huh, that makes sense. So kind of like they did in this second sentence here, I would like to solve this problem because I get in trouble when I'm late for school. So he's saying why he wants to solve the problem. And then he's saying why these solutions will work. So it sounds like if he was pitching this to me, I'd be like, wow, you have some great solutions because you're giving me how you're gonna solve it and also why you would do it that way. And again, I could also, I'm seeing my transition words. I see finally. And then he gives one last reason. Getting more sleep will make me less tired in the morning. So he's like, okay, if I go to bed earlier, that's a great solution. Why is it a great solution? Oh, because getting more sleep would make me less tired in the morning. And then at the end, he writes his little conclusion. All of these solutions will work, but going to bed earlier might be the best solution. So at the end of this, he picks one option that he thinks is the best. So if you notice in the beginning, he talks about how waking up on time has always been a problem. At the end, he's talking about how to solve his problem, which will be going to bed earlier. So they're really, really tied together. He has this problem, he has this solution at the end, and then in the middle, he gives all of these possible solutions. So today, you're gonna to think about your own problem. What do you wanna improve about yourself? Is there something you'd like to work on? Me personally, sometimes running late, I will admit I sometimes have to work on that. Um, or having a sweet tooth, eating too many sweets, also a problem I work on. So today you're gonna to create your own problem and solution paragraph, just using something about yourself. Uh, do you wanna participate in class more? Do you wanna clean up your room more? Do you wanna get more organized? Uh, do you wanna work harder in school? Do you wanna get more sleep? Do you wanna become an expert at whatever video game you're working at? It doesn't have to be about school. It's just something you wanna improve upon. I want you, as you're going through this, I want you to always reference back to this example. You can follow this format of introduction, solutions, reason, and conclusion. And this is a really great formatting. I will give you the sentence frames for today. Um, and then eventually we'll pull the frames away so then we can get independent on this. Um, so please, please, I want you guys to go through this today. First step would be planning. What's something you wanna improve and how could you get there? And then also, why are these good solutions? I could throw a bunch of different solutions out there, but if they're not good solutions, then I'm kind of just wasting my time. So think through this today. We will use the frames for today, and then we're gonna get to the point where we can write expert problem and solution paragraphs about just about anything.